Everybody, I'm going to Dollar Tree. Let's come to the Dollar Tree. Shall we go? Somebody else bit the dust today. I said it. Did I not say it? Can there, no, seriously. Is there anyone who can ever leave this fucking place here in an ambulance? They always leave in a body bag. I told them, why don't these guys invest in pink ones for the women, blue ones for the men, and like orange for others? Gender queer, rainbow ones for the fucking LGBT, F D G X I J K L M P community. Alethea, how are you? Always, Gina, how are you? And you know who I think it was? The lady who stole my pod number six. I think it's her husband. She was looking really bad, really bad. And I told my friend last night he's ready to go home. I know it's gonna be this soon, but I hope it wasn't him. I mean, honestly, I hope it wasn't him because he gave up. She just literally died. They haven't even buried her. Seriously, they have not even buried her yet. They haven't even buried her. My friend was in there last night, so I told her, get the fuck out of there. So I come to my house, we want to hang out. Get the fuck out of there. Because I felt it. That's what it is. I am now the last person left living on my floor from the original people who moved here. Everybody else is new. On this part of the baby. I'm the last one. And I just told the security guard that I watched this video. If I'm in that number 11, that building's going to the, to the that building is going back to the dirt from what whence it came. What um Denzel said in the book of Eli, I think he should have got an Oscar for that actually. From dust we came, and from dust we shall be turned. That shit right there, it's not a threat, it's a promise. Something happened to me, that shit on dust. Know that. I don't care about your children. I don't care about your mother. I don't care about your husband, your uncle, your aunt, grandma, because y'all don't care about us. Yeah, I said it. And mind you, I'm not talking about through any violence or anything illegal. That's just the natural law and order of things, people. You fuck people, you will get fucked. You do bad deeds to people. It may not even come out on you. The children will suffer the sins of the father. Um, no, they're not killing all of us off. Um, what they're doing is, you know what? You're not a member. I talk about that with my members, but before I had a, a YouTube membership, I talked about it on, look on the photo thumbnail. It has the organization called Flybase. Flybase.org. Go watch my video. Oh, better yet, watch my video bug out. It, 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 they're, and they're talking, and you can hear them, and, and they're telling us that they're killing us. Killing us by mercying us. They're such fucking geniuses. But guess what? I don't mercy anyone. I want you to suffer. Uh, but, uh, anyway. Moving along. Like I said, another one bites the dust. Listen, this life is short. What do I tell you guys? You need your vessel. You need it. Don't let anyone trick you out of it. Don't let anyone convince you that earthly fame, all y'all get on me goes, I want to be a rapper and I'm going to make this billion dollar deal and I'm going to sell myself to dumb. You're a fool. You're a fool. There's nothing here that's worth that. I promise you it's not. See what I got around my neck? If I can tell you that there's nothing worth giving away for, I, you know how many times they wanted me to do it? I was, no. No. I'm not doing that. They try to lie to you and tell you at first. That's, that's great, Gina. They try to lie to you at first and they tell you, oh, well, don't worry, you sell your soul. And, you know, once you get spiritual, you, you can just take somebody else's. You just host their soul or have their soul here. 
but you cannot use their soul as a vessel when you die. The only way that you can use someone else's vessel is if your vessel is damaged. But it has to, it has to be in existence. It can be beaten up, uh, it, it can be, uh, just, uh, you know, just barely stand on one wheel. And there are other ones who have better vessels and they will help you and they will lift you up. But if you have no vessel, you can't ride on theirs. It's like a two-seater. You ever been in a convertible, like when I had a Porsche, back when my dad bought me a Porsche, and you know, you have one person and there's always one ghetto. Can I, can I ride? I'm not putting three people in a fucking convertible, no! You ever see 20 Mexicans in a Lamborghini? I have, <laughs> I saw it more than once. Oh, these hot flashes are terrible today. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, you know what? Oh, they got dog food today. They got dog food. They got dog food. Let's get two kinds of dog food. It's very hard to get. Uh, which flavor is this? He liked the one with the rice. Uh, hot country rice. Oh, let's get you three of these fat, 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 fat boy. I love that doggy so much. I love that doggy so much. I bought his shots yesterday. They came in the mail. Um, ice packed. I was supposed to refrigerate them last night, but they're not gonna. Like, when they do that, it's made with dry ice. They're not going to go bad overnight. So I'm going to shoot him up today. And I'm like, my son's like, with no muzzle? Like, he'd never bite me, silly. Y'all think he's going to bite? Do you think he's going to bite? <laughs> Can somebody let me know. You think he's going to bite? I hope not. Uh, picture me making pancakes. That's not going to happen. So even if they're complete, Look at that. It says Hungry Jack complete. But guess what? If it was complete, then that means Hungry Jack would be at your fucking house, frying them up for you, bring them to the table, put syrup and butter on them, and then say, it's complete. It's not complete if it's in a freaking box. That means you have to open the box. You have to put shit in it to make it you can't, some kind of stuff to stir it around. Then have to add oil to it and then stand there and cook something. That's never going to happen. Not in this lifetime. I don't do cooking, sorry. Cooking is for slaves. I'm not a slave. Guess what? Abraham Lincoln said, I'm not a slave. So if he said it, then it must be true. Right? I'm sorry, unless you enjoy cooking, cooking is a form of slavery. I'm not doing it. My mother used to cook, and, and I, I just saw it as slavery. I couldn't do it. She, I mean, she loved to, she, no, she loved her family. And she was born in 1912 when women had, you know, certain roles that were expected of them. They adopted me in their 60s. I, they weren't expecting me to do anything. That's when it, why they adopted me, because they had a hard life, and they wanted to give a child a golden, a, a, what did my father say, the golden spoon. Well, thank you. But guess what? When y'all died, they used that same golden spoon to shove it in my ass and disinherit me. That's all I have left from all of that money, you know, a, a, a set of golden spoons to shove in my ass. That's it. What did your parents leave you? Sorry if I'm loud, people. This is how I get paid. Do I bother you at your job? No. I don't knock nobody's broom at McDonald's. I don't kick anybody's broom in here. I don't go to them when they're at their front desk working for white people they can't stand and, and, and kiss an ass and stuff. Like yes, boss. Yes, boss. I've been my own boss all my life. So find something else to talk about besides me being loud. I love myself. Try to love yourself and you won't worry about me. First of all, you're expecting all these poised and, and, and classy people in Dollar Tree? Get a fucking grip. Leave me alone. I'm loud. Fuck you. You're in Dollar Tree. They just, they just shot up people here the other week. I, I, I'm rude to be loud, but it's okay to come in and shoot everybody. Fuck up. Shut up, bitch! Anyway. Move along. Uh. <laughs> Can't take these niggas nowhere. I'm serious. We're in Dollar Tree. We're not at Bread Duff Good. We're not at Saks. And, and honestly, when my parents would take us to those places, it was to get fitted for suits. And that was by appointment. So even if you were loud in there, we couldn't hear you because we were in a private room being fitted. Broke ass. Anyway, moving along. This is why I don't come. People, do y'all see now why I, don't come, why I don't come out? When I come out, I become, I'm hinged. And no, I haven't slept in um, three days now. Neither has my son. We don't sleep here. Oh. Question for you guys in New York City, when is no pants day? Because um, now that I have the body for it, I want to wear no pants. Like you get on a train, just take your pants off and start stripping and stuff. We really do have a holiday called no pants day. And now that I have the body for it, I want to take off my freaking pants like everybody else. So 
If y'all see me with no pants on the wrong day, that's because one of y'all lied and told me it was on a certain day and y'all knew it wasn't. I need some foil. I need some foil. What is foil? I don't want metal. I want Reynolds wrap. Reynolds wrap is foil, right? Or is, or is that plastic bags? I really do need it. I'm serious. Uh, 100 old people over there. And one of these big old boxes. And the old people are just... Well, how do we get back here? Push the fucking car. You know what? I'm going on something. Push that shit. Hope I don't knock one of them over. Should I? Should I? Should I? <laughs> I think I'm going to do it. Y'all know y'all can just push these boxes, right? Oh, they're not heavy. I got to get on. Oh, wait. I'm in the wrong aisle anyway. Never mind. Oh, I can't do it. I'm in the wrong aisle. I'm going to push one of them over. <laughs> too old to be shopping. I'm serious. When you're that old, you have a maid. Don't we? No, I'm serious. When you're that old, you have a maid. Or you have children to do your shopping for you. Either your children are fucked up or your husband is fucked up. I'm serious. If y'all see me shopping and I'm like 90 years old, kick me in the ass. I'm a loser. Unless you really just enjoy getting out. That's when your kids call like, where are you, mom? Oh, I'm out grocery shopping. And you know, mom is rich and mom's in the suburbs. And mom went into town. You know, she's in the suburbs. She went into town to go shopping, get a couple of items in her electric real wheelchair. And mom has a four carat diamond on her finger. She's walking around with a damn Birkin bag. Go home, mom. Go home. Seriously. Look like I smell great. The devil is a liar. Woo wee, will somebody tell him? <laughs> no, no, actually. Parts of me smell great. There are some parts of me that are rancid. Can you guess which ones? I don't take baths or showers according to my, 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 my um, subscribers. So, if you don't take baths or showers, what's your other option? Uh, you roll around in, in, in the sand like a chinchilla. Hey, bald head black guy, why are you following me around? Why aren't you following them people around that day when they shut up your clerks? <laughs> Some security. You'd be painting license plates if you fucking didn't let that shit happen in my store. You was my bodyguard. You'd be mad as fuck. Well, it wasn't his fault. Yes, it is. But we don't carry guns. You should. You're in the hood. Oh, that I went on my scratch up today. Today, if you make a rhyme and voluntarily, your wish comes true. Who is Kodak Black? Some black guy that's a rapper. And, and, and you know, the other, last, when I was bleaching, they would call me Michael Jackson, so. You can't win with these Negroes. You can't win with these Negroes. D don't pay that in your mind. It's a black thing, Jenny. You wouldn't understand. You know, it's just like, you know, I'm serious. It, it, it's an ignorant black thing. And then they wonder, you wonder why they call us niggas, right? Don't wonder anymore. You are the epitome of the word nigger. Stop tainting me with your bullshit. We talking about death and trying to have fun, and here you go. I got to be a good nigga this morning. I got to make Whitey laugh this morning. You shucking and jobbing for everybody. Are you eating watermelon too? Wearing a pair of overalls and a big straw hat? Field nigga, get off my life. See, you want to be nasty? I can be a nasty bitch. So I suggest you cut it out. I'm a nasty bitch. If you came on here thinking it was going to be funny, I ain't no joke. I'm Eric B. and Rakim. Wait, I, I forgot one more thing. Oh, I forgot your peanut butter. Can't be in my house without peanut butter. Cannot do that. It's illegal to be in my house without peanut butter. Peanut butter. I have jelly. We have honey. This is for the dog. Honey peanut butter for my son. Uh, what else? Uh, he has a pizza. Oh, I'll get him a... There's something called a big ass burrito. At least Kodak Black has a mom. Right? Do you even know who your mom is? You were raised by your grandmother, so shut the fuck up. Your grandmother's as slutty as your mom, too. That's bad. You come from a slut bloodline. Three, that's a magic number. Yes, it is. Grandma, Mama, and you. Big S. And it doesn't stand for sexy. Look, I'm having a hot flash. Please leave me the fuck alone this morning. I normally entertain this bullshit, but right now I'm in the supermarket. I'm just trying to get the fuck out of here. All right? Thank you. Thank you, um, um, Sander. But, but I'm just, people, and I'm, I will say this. 
I apologize for my race that we have people like that because there's some ignorant white motherfuckers too, but I mean, you're doing what's expected. Like when a white person acts ignorant, it's not expected because they're supposed to be privileged, right? But they're expecting you to come on here and do, say stupid shit. But guess what? Every time I look every day, I have a hundred new followers. Uh, I don't need your little ignorant ghetto follow. But you must be following me because you're here every day with the same bullshit. And you the asshole that subscribes and unsubscribes. I want you to know I'm still growing. I still have my own business. People still love me and I enjoy talking to you like a child. Not even a child, like a pet monkey. Cause you are a fucking monkey right now. You are. Why don't you go to a zoo? You know, I, I, I always wanted to be a zookeeper, but you, you fulfilled my dream today. I finally am a makeshift zookeeper. Now, Caesar, Caesar is home. Go man, bitch, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to walk, make people happy this morning and shit, and you know, I, I mean, this afternoon, yeah, this morning, and have to start the day on a positive note, and here you go. What happened, your lights off? Your landlord won't fix that leak? A rat was in the toilet last night, you got bitten by a rat. You don't have no heat, no hot water. What happened? You, you still live in NYCHA? You even named your daughter NYCHA, right? And you named your son Nigel. You are sit your bum. Get off my life. We already know you don't have 99 cents a month for, for to join my channel. We already know you a bum ass bitch. You say it with your actions. And I bet you in person, you smell it too. You know you smell cheap. You know what you smell like? That perfume that they sell at Target that says, smells just like Chanel. Instead of wearing polo, you wear pool. Why don't you go drown in it? Bitch! <laughs> I said it! Okay, what else we need? It's like being in the freezer. So nice and cool in there. It is so nice and cool in there. Go and drown in the freezer. Oh, let's see. And don't try that bullshit about, oh no, if I go and commit suicide, then you're gonna be held reliable. If you would commit suicide for a comment that someone made from social media, you deserve to be not, not here anymore. Seriously. How fucking sensitive are you? And if you are, if you would do something like that, then that means you're in the wrong content. Children do stuff like that, teenagers. Do you see my analytics? This is a channel for adults. Once again, I will say, this is not fucking Ryan's world. I do not review toys here. The only toys I review here are adult toys like Dixon and, and, and portable vaginas. So if you don't like it, get the fuck out. No, actually, I buy polar bears. But since you're ignorant, no, I'll be nice. You know what? You're right. I'm bipolar. But it's not what you know. It's what you can prove. And I'm not on medication, and nor am I in therapy. And um, my son's still with me 14 years later, though they tried to say that. And um, People play crazy. Maybe I'm playing, maybe I'm not. But if you are, you're on here watching me, and you you're on my dick so hard that you left a comment. Okay? So that means that you like hanging out with crazy people. And what do they say? Birds of a feather flock together. Right? Tell me who your friends are, and I'll know who you are. If you're so straightforward, get the fuck out of here and go to the square lot. This is not it. We're all circles. Some, something is wrong with every last one of us in here. We like to have fun. We like to laugh. We like to enjoy life. We believe that something higher than us brought us here. But no, you're perfect, right? You're perfect. So on Thursday morning, you're on YouTube looking at a black chick with an afro calling me bipolar. You have no fucking life. I said it. You know, you know what I would be doing if I were your age? Just, I would be working, but oh, you don't have a job, do you? Get you some FS and get you some FOOD. You mentally ill? Yeah, you suppose that's then you're in the right place. You're in the right place. You're in the right. If you're mentally in the right place, now you got it. Exactly, you got it. Here, populist. Okay, we talk about that on here. I have a medical background, bitch. I have two bachelor's degrees. You know what? I wish I had two bats to bash your fucking head in. That's what I wish. 
Is that bipolar enough for you? This is something. The only people who don't, who are crazy, are the ones who don't know that they are. Do you think that everyone that passes a psychological is not crazy? Have you ever seen some of these psycho cops in New York that have gun licenses? Have you ever seen anybody, pretty much, that has a gun license in Texas? Those motherfuckers are crazy. They be shooting people. I told you, nigga, get off my lawn. What are you now? I don't know. Hold on. Let me get the hell out of here because I'm starting to have a... Now, honestly, what I do have is panic attacks. I'm in here, and when I get in the aisles, the aisles start closing in on me because I don't do this kind of stuff. But since I've been in New York, good help is so hard to find. Every time I have a housekeeper, they rob me. So I'd rather have a dirty house than someone steal my eyelashes, my wigs, and my gold tea, and money around my house. And I worked for it. I did pretty good last night. The only thing, my, ba my, ba my house is pretty nice. It's just that the bathroom's disgusting because I'm not touching a toilet. I don't take showers, so there's no reason to wash the bathtub. So if I told you I use the bathtub. We pretend we have two toilets. We're rich like the Kardashians. We have two toilets and one bathroom. It's just that one is a bathtub. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. The people in there. Let me go over here and respect this lady. I'll be back. Hold on. I got something. Hold on. That was a fart for you, your mother, and everybody else. You heard that? That was for you. This one's for you. I had to get off the line. I'm going to fart for that lady. That was for you. You heard it? It was a mellow fart. It said, it said, it was a classy fart. It said, because you are perfect. <laughs> I wish I would fart in your mouth. You'd, you'd eat it. You know what? The one of those farts where I doodle a little bit. And when you look in my ass and you think that I'm coming and I just took a big dump in your, in your mouth. That's what I wish I could do right to you right now. Blood clot. Uh, I need some to wash my ass. We need some soap or something. Uh, ultra moisturizer. Let's see what ultra mo Let's see what ultra moisture we could get at Dollar Tree. <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I'm on my. I'm just doing this. I didn't want to be farting for nobody. See, you made me see, but see, see, I did it with respect. I walked away. Okay, I walked away, but that fart was for you, okay? And thank you, because every time you click on my name, when you come in, when you come in my house, Spells by my house, what does it say? This is a paid endorsement. It's not much, but you're paying me for me to fart in your mouth. So you do have a job, I'm sorry. You work for me. You swallow my farts. Thank you. I love you. Keep coming back. No, your mother stunk up the store. You want to know why? Because the bathroom door is broken and she can't close it. And, you know, she doesn't stand up when she pees like I do. That's what y'all say, right? So when she squatted, and, oh, God. That's why everybody's up here. The bathroom is back there. Your mother was back there. Yeah. Stanking pussy hoe. Who you talking to? Who are you talking to? Why don't you? Listen. It's people like you that get me 100 new followers a day. Thank you. Thank you. I don't wash, but I don't have sex with 80 men a day like your mother. And they all come inside of her, and the sperm has a party. All the sperm, and then they die inside of the folds of her vagina, and they grow fungus, and that is why no one, the bathroom now has an out of order sign on it. The person who I was talking about in my short was your stankin' mother. So worry about yourself. Don't worry about me. This is Dollar Tree. They got dishes and everything. She could have did something before she went here and killed all of us. Look, everybody up here, because your mother's back there in the bathroom. And then she goes, is there any spray? What kind of spray are you talking about? There's not a spray on this planet that could get her defunct. She's defunctified. One nation under a groove, getting down just for the fuck of it. Your mother is who they made that song for. Shut up. My name is Lynn. They call me Spellbinder. I'm not doing this this morning. I will see y'all when I go home. Thank you so much for coming by. Keep coming back and tell your mother to wash her cunt for real because she's fucking up Dollar Tree. Bye-bye.